So I'm going to be taking BPC-157 and TB-500 to help me with a chronic injury. So guys, I've been dealing with a chronic injury that has not been getting better and it's taken about two and a half to three months. Now, that being said, I've done some activity modification, some rehab, and I have been feeling better. And of course, as soon as I get the stuff in the mail, as soon as I start getting ready to take it, I feel significantly better. However, I'm gonna be taking it because I want to give you guys the actual recommendation. I've talked about using BPC-157. I've talked about who should be using it, when you should consider it. I've also talked about how my patients use it, but that's not necessarily coming directly from me. To be honest, I was very skeptical because I don't like needles. I'm not a fan of that stuff. I was really skeptical to begin with. I'm always pretty skeptical, to be honest. However, I have been talking to a few buddies who are in the health and wellness field, in the regenerative field, and they've even mentioned that they were taking it with some decent results. So we're gonna talk about when you should use it, how you should use it, my little story here, but basically I've been having some injuries and these little peptides, and look at how small this ball is. Like these little peptides are supposed to be extremely powerful. When you buy this stuff, one, I got referred to a brand, so I'm not endorsing this or telling you you should use it, but I am saying that this little bottle here was a referral or somebody who is in the market uses this stuff and they highly recommend it. So this is the one I used when I bought it. They don't provide syringes. They do provide some information. They don't provide this reconstitution solution, which I did not know. So when I bought it, I was like, all right, let's get going. I have the syringes, but I didn't have everything I needed. So what you're going to need is, of course, the bottle of peptides. You're going to need a reconstitution solution. You're going to need a syringe, and this is an insulin syringe. And then I purchased a couple 3 ml syringes because you're gonna have to take the fluid, AKA from here, and put it into here. Basically what you're going to do here is you're going to have frozen or dehydrated amino acids or peptides, and you're gonna to have to place this reconstitution solution inside and basically dissolve that. And then you're going to use the needle to utilize that compound. And of course, when you are doing this, not only do you need to do this correctly, however, you need to be sanitary, you need to have approval from your doctor, and also make sure that you are using the right dosage correctly because there is a dosage calculator and that is based off of how much constitution solution you are putting from this syringe and into here. So make sure that you are accurate with that dosing. So if you're going to be doing this, what you're going to do is you're going to pop off the lid, all of these, and you're gonna see this happen. I'm going to take a little bit of rubbing alcohol here and I'm going to clean the top really well. Make sure that you clean things really well and that things are sanitary. I'm also going to pop off the lid on the reconstitution solution and use a completely new pad here and I'm going to clean that really well as well. I'm not gonna bore you with this. However, make sure you clean it well. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna take the 3 ml syringe and I'm going to push this in here. And I'm gonna draw out three mLs nice and slow. You can see, and that. Again, we're not gonna shake this. We might just roll it around a little bit, dump it up, and we're gonna let this sit for at least 20 minutes to an hour as a minimum so that it can dissolve properly. And then of course, make sure you throw your sharps away properly. Make sure that you are safe in handling them. So while we wait for this to dissolve and before we even use it, we should talk about how often we should be using it. What is some of the protocols that are standard out there? Now, if you're actually dealing with an active injury, maybe it's painful, you may be even able to take this every day or even twice in a day. However, there's some research and some people say that you should at least give it between four and six hours. So if you're gonna take it, let's just say at 12, you would not take it any sooner than four to 6 p.m. at that time. So we wanna make sure that you are using it in proper doses and at proper timings. Also, let's just assume that you finish this vial, everything is going well and you're feeling well. It might take you between four and six weeks to use the entire thing. But in my case, I actually purchased two of these. So if you are going to be using this back to back, you can also be using this four to six weeks and then at least take two weeks off before starting another vial or another dosage. There are some people who take higher 
micrograms. There are some people who take it different and you're going to need a calculator, as I mentioned earlier, based off of the number of milliliters of reconstitution solution that you've put in your vial. You need to be sure how many mLs of fluid or reconstitution solution you've put in here because that will greatly affect your dosage. Meaning, if you put three mLs versus one mL, there's going to be three times the concentration in here if you use one mL versus three mLs. So make sure that you're not just giving yourself a random number and you're just not drawing it. There is a calculator out there. I will link it below. So if you're interested in doing that, you will have a good resource or a few resources, but you can go to like, I believe it's peptide calc. There's a bunch of different things out there that you can take a look at. Now that we are ready to go, I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about why I decided to actually use this. And it's because I was not healing as fast as I can. I've taken about three months off the mat and I've not been able to go back. I haven't even showed up for a single practice or just to say hello. It's just been out of sight, out of my mind. And I've been really just focusing on weightlifting and injury recovery and just being there for my friends, being there for my family. And I am ready to get back to it. However, I mentioned earlier, I'm actually feeling significantly better, almost like I can go back. I know that when you do a new sport, new training, there is an adaptation period when you go back. Meaning, just because you don't feel pain or you're ready to go, there's not going to be a 100% increase in your capacity to just get back on the mats or get back to training. We need to do it slowly, and I'm gonna go back to drilling quickly or back to drilling slowly. I'm going to use these compounds to help heal and help me recover. And again, as I mentioned earlier, I have some patients and some friends and some colleagues that are actually using this and they use it as a maintenance dose where they do it every two or three or even four days. And so that will last, of course, a lot longer. However, I'm likely to be taking this every day or every two days, depending on that. So as I go back to jujitsu and I'm breaking down and I'm starting to adapt to my recovery, I'm going to go back not only smart and intelligently, but I'm going to be using this compound to help me stay out of pain and hopefully heal faster. This is the reason I'm using it. I will of course keep you guys updated as always, but I really appreciate you watching this. I personally just don't like needles. I don't really want to deal with it. However, I will show you what that looks like as well. Okay, so if we are ready to take our dosage of peptides, what we're going to be basically doing here is of course, cleaning our area we want to make sure that this is good here and i do not like needles so this is really kind of a uh, crazy for me to even be doing this not to mention on camera so basically i have a peptide calculator right over here based off of the syringe size that i have the peptide that i have in there the amount as well as the reconstitution solution i have my dosage this is a very very tiny dosage so you're going to open up this compound here or this needle I should say and you're going to pull it off this is a insulin syringe so it's pretty very uh, pretty tiny extremely tiny so you're gonna come in right to the side there 90 degrees here so I have this peptide solution you're gonna laugh at how little dosage this really looks like so it's just a small little in here and I'm pulling it back to 1.5 all right so I have my needle here my insulin needle you're gonna laugh at how little of a dosage we're gonna put in here I have my solution based off of how much peptide I have in here, how much reconstitution solution, and the size of the syringe. So we're gonna pull this down to 1.5, very tiny amount, solution fill up. Okay, so this is it. This tiny little solution there, sorry, 1.5 micrograms here. All right, so we will clean. I can't believe I'm doing this. That's it. So not too painful, not at all. Not even like a little bee sting, like nothing. Like it was really very mild. Um, and that is coming from somebody who um, does not like needles whatsoever. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little worried, a little concerned about if this is gonna work, if this is should be used or not. But you know, I can feel where the solution went in. You can feel a little harder. So, um, and that's it. Cheers, guys. Hopefully this works.